Hi everyone, this is Omer from drillcademy.com. Uh, in this quick short video, I want to talk about assembly of your Phantom 4. So again, this is a brand new Phantom 4 that we just unboxed. There's a previous video that you probably saw. If you haven't, go ahead and check that out. So again, this is the drone. It comes completely assembled. In this case, I don't have to do anything else. Uh, the sensors are here up in the front. Uh, I have mentioned this in my other videos as well, but just to reiterate because it's a very important uh, note to, to remember, these sensors are only uh, you know facing the front. So when you do fly this drone, just be very careful that there are no sensors in the back. So what that means is that when this drone is actually, uh, you know, flying itself backwards, coming home or whatever it is, because there are no sensors here, it's not going to uh, avoid any obstacles. So just make sure that if you're using any of these smart features that this drone comes with, uh, that you keep in mind uh, where the sensors are pointing. So for example, if you're doing a follow me, and you're standing over there and the drone is following you back because the sensors are pointed here it doesn't know what obstacles are on this side here so uh, just keep keep uh, you know uh, uh, keep keep that in note uh, and we're going to talk about that in detail but it's important to know that uh, in case you don't get to other videos so here we go we're just going to go ahead and talk about the assembly of these so these are the propellers that come with uh, you know the phantom 4 in the box uh, they are going to be uh, wrapped up in a clear wrap so make sure you go ahead and take that off once you've done so you're going to see a black ring so what you're going to do is you're going to take this black ring and match it to the motors and the black dots that are here. So again, the black dots are on this side and on this side diagonal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look at, uh, you know, this propeller here to see which uh, uh, way I have to rotate it. So this is clockwise. So if you've owned the previous Phantoms, uh, you know, you're probably used to screwing these in and then tightening them up. Uh, there's a new system now in Phantom 4, and all you do is <clears throat> you match the black ring to the black dots, and then you press down, and then you twist. So this is the direction that I had to twist in, and that's it. Now if you try to unscrew this, it won't come off. So to unscrew it, you press down, and you go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go clockwise to rotate this, and now I'm going to go push down, and then go counterclockwise, and this is locked in. So same thing again, this is black, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and push down, and clockwise, and this way here, push down, and just the other way, push down, and just the other way. And again, to take it off, I went clockwise to lock it, I'm gonna go counterclockwise, push down, push down, clockwise. So pretty simple. That's all it takes to assemble the propellers. And we're going to go ahead and just put this drone on the side. And I'm really going to give you a quick view of how to um, connect the controller. So again, this is a brand new controller that uh, the Phantom came with. Uh, it's pretty simple. Of course, as you've seen, we've talked about, uh, you know, some of the features of this controller. Um, so I am using an iPad mini. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring my iPhone cable first and I'm going to turn the remote control around and I'm just going to go ahead and place it place the USB uh, component just here just like that and I'm going to take the other end and place it on my iPad and I'm going to go ahead and place it in this I'm going to press this button to lift up the socket and there you have your iPad installed now Second step, which is pretty important, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the iPad. I have downloaded the DJI Go application already, uh, and I can go ahead and turn that on. And this is the application here. The remote to turn it on, I'm going to go ahead and double click and hold down, and it should turn on. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the drone on. And this is indoors, I'm not looking to take this off anywhere, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of show you guys when you have a test, six, successful test. Yeah, so you, once you hear that. Uh, I just want to go ahead and show you, you know, what the camera view looks like and how a setup is, uh, how, or how you should see initial setup. Now, because I have kind of done this before this video, there was a, you know, a screen that was a welcome screen and a registration screen. So what's going to happen is that you're going to notice that there's going to be a white screen and it's going to take you through five steps. 
and the steps are very very basic from you know the preference of your control toggles to activating your account online to knowing you know what is the uh, distance that the drone should go up before it goes return to home so very very basic options so just go ahead and go through that once you've successfully completed those then you come into the screen you cannot bypass it you have to go through them and again they're very simple and you're gonna go ahead and land into the screen now in some of the other videos we're gonna talk about a lot of options that are in here so in this video this is just what it takes for you to have a successful uh, phantom uh, that's you know ready to fly off of course, it's got some red lights because, you know, it's trying to find a GPS calibration. I haven't done a, you know, a compass calibration. So those are the things that in the future videos we're going to go ahead and cover. But this is how your setup should look like. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my drone off by double clicking and holding down the button. And then I'm going to go ahead and just power down. Same thing, double click, hold down. And I'm going to exit the application. And that's essentially what it takes for your Phantom 4 to be set up. And, uh, and ready for the next step before we go into the flight. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful, and if you have any questions, uh, let me know.